Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com, and I have a Shopify tip for those of you who use Shopify and want to create basic photo galleries on your pages. Shopify is great for e-commerce, and they have a great shopping cart set up, but their focus is really on the shopping experience, and so they don't give you a lot of options for building out your website and getting advanced features on your site like a photo gallery. When you create your pages in Shopify, you really only have the basic HTML editor to add text and format it and add pictures. So there's really no easy way to add a uh, photo gallery. There are some apps you can add for a monthly price, but nobody really wants to pay extra just for a photo gallery. So I'm going to show you an easy way to add picture gallery functionality to your pages for free. And what we're going to use to put a gallery on your Shopify site is a plugin called Galleria. You can find it at galleria.io. And what it is is a JavaScript gallery plugin. So what we're going to do is click free download to uh, download the files. And you can open the Galleria folder after downloading it and you'll see two JavaScript files and then a themes folder and a plugins folder. And at this point you're going to go back to your Shopify site and log in to the dashboard. And then you're going to go to themes. and click on edit HTML slash CSS. And if you scroll down to assets and click on that folder and click add new asset and really what you're gonna do is upload each of the files in this folder to the assets folder. So you're gonna upload these two files and then in the themes folder there's a classic folder and you're going to upload each of these files. You don't need to upload anything in the plugins folder unless you know you're going to use those. Once you've uploaded all those files to the assets folder, you can scroll up and find the theme.liquid file in the layouts folder and click on it. You're going to need to add some text within the head tags of this file. So you can probably put it right before the last head tag. You can see I've already added the text. It's just two lines exactly like this. Make sure the 1.4.2 matches the number of the version of Galleria that you're using. I have 1.4.2. You may have a future version, so you have to make sure this text matches. I'll also include this text under the YouTube video in the description so you can easily copy and paste it. So you paste in these two lines into the theme.liquid and then click the save button. So now the Galleria plugin is installed on your site and all you need to do is add the gallery function to the different pages where you want it. So to add the gallery to a page, you can click on pages and create a new page. I've already created one called gallery template. So once you're on the page, you can click this button up here to show the HTML. And then you're going to want to paste in this code. And I know it looks a little scary, but basically you're going to copy and paste all of this text into your page wherever you want the gallery to go. And then you're going to change a few things. You'll see here I have two image tags. So the, those are the images that I've included. And if you go back to the visual editor, you can easily add images whenever you want. So you just click after one of the images and click the insert image button to add another image and when you click insert image it's going to add it right between the other ones so if I go back to the HTML you'll see it added another image tag for my third image so that's how you add images so the only other thing you're going to need to change within this code is this URL here and you're only going to need to change this first part of the URL and if you're my client, I would have already done this for you, so you don't need to worry about it. But if you're setting this up on your own and following along with my videos, you are going to have to change this part of the URL. So there may be some different ways to get this URL that you need, but the way that I got it is by going back to themes and then again clicking on edit HTML CSS and then go back to assets and then find an image in there, like one ending in JPG or GIF and click on that image and then right click on that image to copy the URL and in my browser it's actually just copy image URL 
and then I'm going to go back to editing this page and then I'm going to paste the URL here all the way up to the G in Galleria. So I'm going to paste that there. And then I'm going to delete everything after the slash after assets up until the G in Galleria and delete that so it should say assets slash galleria dot classic dot min dot js and then you can click save to save the page and then if you click on view on your website it should take you to that page where the gallery was added and here's the three images that were added in my page if you wanted to create a gallery on another page all you would need to do is copy all of the code from the gallery you've created Go to Pages and add a new page. Click on the Show HTML button and then paste in all of that code. And then all you'll need to do is go back to the editor and replace these images so you can delete them and add new images using the Edit Image button. So that's how you can add an image gallery to your Shopify site using the Galleria plugin. I know it's not super simple. You do have to manipulate some code. But hopefully you can follow my steps and at least you won't have to pay for a Shopify app that comes with a monthly cost. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to contact me. I would even be willing to do it for you uh, for an hourly fee on your site if you can't figure it out. So feel free to get in touch with me through my website or ask questions uh, below the YouTube video. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other videos. We'll see you on the next one.